Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I am doing a curly hair routine video. Um, I'm just taking it from its ponytail because I've had it up like this for a few days now because I've got a sore finger but I really wanted to show you the products I use, how I sort this uh, mop out and um, yeah, sort of the end result. So keep watching and I'll see you shortly. The first uh, thing I'm going to use on my hair is this banana conditioner. This is from Poundland and the ingredients on the back are suitable for the curly girl method which is so good for a pound. So I've dampened my hair with a um, lukewarm shower. I'll show you the temperature in a moment and then I've added a, this amount of the banana conditioner. And next I'm using this brush, which I got from my hairdressers. I believe it was from Amazon. So um, go and have a look. It's really good. It's a bit like a tangle teaser. So once I've put the conditioner in my hair, I then untangle it over the bath with the brush. Um, I lose a lot of hair at this point. And then once you can see, I've uh, brushed it through so that it's completely coated with conditioner. I um, just make sure that every single strand has been um, untangled. I then rinse my hair thoroughly, um, uh, making sure I squeeze out any excess. And so I have washed it as I've shown you. So I did it over the bath with my head forward, which is why my hair is all forward. So I'm going to, I also put in a, a tiny, I always put about a 5 to 10p piece of the conditioner I've just used as leave-in conditioner. So you can see now, this is, it's still sopping wet and obviously we want that to dry. Uh, but before we want it to dry, while it's wet, and this is quite important, while it's wet, you want to lock in the moisture. Um, well, I do anyway. So all of this is my hair, obviously. Um, so I take this much curl cream. Um, this is the Boots Curl Cream Essential. It's about £1.80. So this is the cheapest one you'll find. And it's really good. But my favourite is the um, Curl Scrunch Jelly from Umberto Giannini. But I just don't have any. So that's one of my favourites. That is also curly girl friendly. I put it in my hands like this. Look, there's so much. And then I rub it through my hair, trying to get every single strand. Um, like with the conditioner, if you, you call it the prayer, do that. It's actually a bit kinder to your hair. So I do this side first. Give it a good blend into each of the curls. And then you can hear it squelching, but that's probably the best thing. So I put that in. And then I'll do the other side, a bit about half of what was on there. So again, pull it through like this and then give it a scrunch. I'll have to do a thumbnail for this, I think, won't I? Because I don't think people will know. I'm just working it into the root now, but the ends are the ones that are probably the bit that you need. So all of this here. So now what I'm going to do, they call it plopping. If you follow the curly girl method, plopping is putting very wet hair into material that isn't toweling material. So if you've got um, a microfiber towel, um, but preferably something cotton. Um, this is a t-shirt, just like a bedroom t-shirt, quite stretchy, it's quite nice. So I'll just see if I can move you back a little bit. Oh, there's a mirror there. So, what I do, I'm going to take my glasses off. I'm going to put my head forward, all the way forward and all the hair forward. It's actually better if I stand up, but I'm not going to stand up because you won't be able to see it. So I'm just going to put my hair forward and bring my hair like this. So the bottom of the t-shirt is going against my forehead, first of all like this hopefully you can see this because i can't see you and i'm going to tie it around the back of my head like this so that all my hair is in there and then 
I flick my hair into the t-shirt, bring it round over my head and then tie the arms together and it gives you a nice tight sort of turban. When you've got lots of hair like me, you need to keep it as far away from your face as possible. So I've just tied that turban um, and I'm going to leave that now for most of the time. Quick side note, if you haven't got time to do this, so I leave it for about an hour, take it down and then let it dry and you'll see the finished result when it's done. It takes a few hours to dry. I'll go to work with it a bit damp, I don't mind. If you're going out on a night out, use a hairdryer with a diffuser on a cool setting. Like with the shower, you just don't want to add heat to curls, it frizzes them. So you, the, the thing you're trying to avoid is frizz. Um, I'm going to put my glasses on because I literally can't see anything now. So you are avoiding frizzy hair by using things that do not make it frizz. So I'm just going to pop this on. Woohoo, there you go. So the turban's on. I'm going to leave that now for a few hours and I will come back to you with my hair done. I'm in the new house, but I wanted to show you it's halfway dry, so it's still damp. Um, but you can see now that the curls are a bit more defined, they're a bit more glossy. Um, yeah, part dried, a little bit frizz up there, then I've been sat in the wind, but especially underneath, you can see the curls are looking rather defined and lovely. And now it's dry. Now you can see that it's frizzy because <laughs> I've just been mowing the lawn, but it is dry. Um, if I wanted to judge this up, I would put maybe a bit of leave-in conditioner on the top and give it a scrunch just to get the curl back um, or a curl reviving spray. But you can see now how the curls have turned out. Um, it's the only way that I can do my hair really. So yeah, if you've enjoyed the video, let me know. If you have any questions about curly hair, please let me know. But also I'll link the Facebook group for the Curly Girl Method down below just in case you wanted it. But thank you for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time.